rising grocery prices, it is becoming more difficult for some families to put food on the table. The Coastal Bend Food Bank says that over the last few months, they're seeing more people than usual applying for food stamps. But they say food stamps aren't stretching as far as they used to either. Brandon Schaff has that report for us tonight in our top story at five. Brandon. Hey, good evening, Leslie and Mike. And the food bank says that there are more people coming in for help this time of year compared to last year. A family of four qualified for food stamps should get about $1,000 a month from SNAP benefits. But experts say that that might no longer be enough. People that have never qualified for SNAP before, they're really feeling it now. Um, so we're just trying to help everyone that comes in. Angela Gonzalez is the social services lead at the Coastal Bend Food Bank. It's just her and one other person helping people apply for food stamps. And they try to assist at least 60 people each month. But she's concerned some might not get enough for what they need. I don't expect one single person to only need $250 per month on food. They would probably need around maybe three to four hundred dollars to even get by. Gonzalez said people noticed an increase in grocery store prices between 30 cents and one dollar. That's enough to change their entire spending habits and diets when shopping. I've heard of people not buying meat at all, period. They're just buying cheese, they're buying bread, they're buying a lot of canned items because that's on the cheaper side at the grocery store. Food Bank Executive Director B. Hansen said the rising costs affects them just like families. Without normal USDA food donations, they now supplement their meat supply, buying it themselves. We are at this point buying two to three truckloads of chicken quarters a month, and we're paying $20,000 a truckload. Hansen also said fuel costs for trucks to pick up and distribute food increased from $4,000 to $12,000 a month a 66.6% increase. Regardless, she praises the community for continued monetary donations to support them. Families need to have a holiday and they come to us for help. And so we need to be there and help them out so that not only we give them food, but we give them hope. And the Food Bank also says that the Local Health and Human Services Commission office is overwhelmed with food stamp applications. They say that you can come by the Food Bank if you need help applying for food assistance. Mike, Leslie.